All right, we are here at my tiny bin. And it is 39 days old. Started from a vermicompost class that I took at my county extension office. And we'll just kind of peek inside here and see how everything is going. Feels a little dry on the top as far as the um, bedding goes. Definitely seen some castings throughout. So that's good. Looks like I've got a little bit of a strawberry top. It's the plant part, the um, leafy part of it. But this is feeling pretty dry in here. Not pretty dry, this part's not too bad. Let's see if we can find any worms in here. There's a there's a guy. Here's a little guy wiggling around right there. You can see him. There are not too many worms in here. I did check it in the middle. Here's another one right here. I did check it in the middle just to check temperature, that kind of thing. And um, they were congregated around the food for sure. But I think they gave me about maybe 50 worms. And to put that in perspective, I started my indoor worm bin with 2,000. So this is, <laughs> this is really an experimental tiny worm bin to see how many you can start with. Here's a little guy. One little tiny worm in my tiny worm bin. But I'm gonna, they'll get some moisture with the food and I'll probably add some water into here. But here's some matted paper. This is, this is a good example of why I don't like to use office paper. It just sticks together, gets matted, etc. Whereas the cardboard just seems to stay apart from itself more, as you can tell. Oh, there's a worm. There's a guy right there. So anyway, I like to I like to use the shredded cardboard. So not a whole bunch to see, which is good. That means they ate everything, which means I can probably start feeding them more, which is what I'm going to do. There's a couple, three right here. There's definitely worms in here. And they look like they're doing just fine. But we're gonna add Some more bedding for them, but we're gonna add more food than I've added in the past. We'll get this banana here. We'll enjoy that. This is an apricot that I uh, froze and then I broke it open. So we can attack that. We've got various apple pieces. I don't have too much greens this time. Get some strawberry tops. I would have liked to have more shredded stuff, but especially for a newer bin, that's kind of my go-to, but we just haven't juiced that much. And the lettuce, and, or not the lettuce, but the kale is not doing as well in the garden as it had been. And same thing with the other stuff that we would juice. But this is a pretty sizable feeding for these guys, so I will, I will check in on them, make sure I haven't overfed them it's, you know, the, the worm bin has these screen meshes over it, so I'm not worried about critters getting in there. Um, but I certainly don't want the food to decay to the point that it smells on its own. But we'll give them some coffee. Give them the normal eggshell. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Plenty for their gizzards. And that will about do it. If you enjoyed the video, I appreciate a like. I'm just gonna cover this up and I will probably add more bedding on the top just to have more bulk to this. And because it has these holes that penetrate light and even, even this bin is translucent and 
allows light to get in. I just think the more bedding in here, probably the better for these guys and girls and both because <laughs> worms are everything, you know, and female at the same time. So add some more cardboard shreds. And then I'll weigh, I'll uh, water it down, but I won't bore you with the mundane nature of that. And we will call it a video. So hopefully you enjoyed this short, tiny worm den video. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Thanks so much.